To balance this equation, barium nitrate plus ammonium phosphate, we're going to use a bit of a trick that will make it a lot easier. So first off, let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one barium, and here's the trick. We have this nitrate, this NO3. It's a polyatomic ion. We actually have one times two. We also have a nitrate over here. Since we have it on both sides, we're just going to count it as one thing. So we have one nitrate times two, two nitrates. The ammonium ion, NH4, we have it here and here. So we have one times three, three ammonium ions, and then we have the phosphate ion again. So we can just count the phosphate ion. We have one of them here. On the product side, we have three bariums. We have the one nitrate. We have the one ammonium ion. And we have two of these phosphates. So you can very quickly count the atoms up using this method. And time does matter on exams. Let's balance the barium. First, we'll put three here. One times three. Those are balanced. And now we have two times one. So we have two times three. That gives us six of these nitrate ions. We could just put a six here. We have one nitrate times six. Those are balanced. And then we have the ammonium ion, one times six. So we have six of those. If we put a two here, we have three times one. There's three times the two, three times two. That'll give us six. We have one phosphate times two. That gives us two phosphates and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of this method. If you count the polyatomic ions as one thing, if it appears on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaNO3 2 plus NH3PO4. And note that this barium phosphate, this is going to be a solid. So this will be the precipitate. Everything else is aqueous. Thanks for watching.